Welcome to the iFi Direct Mode tutorial for Apple iPhone or iPad. If you haven't already activated your iFi card and created your account, please visit support.i.fi and search for Setup. iFi Direct Mode gives you the freedom to send photos and videos straight from your iFi card to your iPhone or iPad. When you enable Direct Mode, your iFi card will start a Direct Mode network when it has photos ready to transfer and there are no other networks for your card to join. To use Direct Mode on your iPhone or iPad, you'll need to have the current versions of iFi Center, the iFi iOS app, and iOS 5.1.1 or later. You'll also need an internet connection for your computer and iPhone or iPad. Part 1. Download and set up the iFi app. If you haven't already installed the iFi app, you'll need to install it. Search for iFi in the App Store to download the free iFi app. If you've previously installed the iFi app, tap the settings icon and select Sign Out. Log in to your iFi account, making sure to use the same email that you used to log in to iFi Center. On the iFi Card Setup screen, tap the Yes button to receive photos from your iFi card. If you have multiple cards, tap On to choose the card you want to use in direct mode. Tap the Add Network button. This takes you to your iOS settings where it will be telling your iPhone or iPad how to connect to your iFi card. Tap the Install button. Next, tap the Install Now button to add your card's network profile to your device. Your iPhone or iPad may also ask you to enter your iOS security passcode depending on your iOS settings. It's okay that you're adding an unsigned profile and that you're changing your phone settings. This should be a one-time change. Tap the Done button. Tap the small iFi Center icon that appears in the web page being displayed. Tap the Copy Password button and then the Next button. Now tap the Done button. Your iFi card and iPhone or iPad are now paired. Part 2. Enable Direct Mode on your iFi card. Launch iFi Center and insert your iFi card into your card reader. Select your card from the device list and click the Settings icon. Go to the Network tab and select the Direct Mode sub-tab. Check the box next to When no known Wi-Fi networks are in range, start the Direct Mode network. Please note that if you are within range of a wireless network that's listed under Private Networks, your card will try to use that network instead of deploying Direct Mode. If you want to test Direct Mode near a configured network, you'll need to remove that network from your iFi card. Make sure that you know your router's password to add it again later. If you use a Macintosh computer, please be sure to manually eject your iFi card. First, find the iFi card as a removable storage device on your desktop. Next, drag that icon to the trash bin. This will turn into an eject button and allow you to safely remove the iFi card and USB reader. Part 3. Send photos to your iPhone or iPad. Now that your iFi card and iPhone or iPad are paired, all you need to do is connect your iPhone or iPad to the iFi card direct mode network to start receiving photos. Insert your iFi card into your camera and shoot several JPEG photos. On your iPhone or iPad, press the Home button, open Settings, and tap Wi-Fi. Within 10 to 30 seconds, a network called iFi card should appear in the list of networks. Tap the name of that network to connect to the card, then return to the iFi app. Even though you won't see the normal check mark next to the iFi card's network name, just the spinning progress wheel, your device will still connect. You only have to do this once during setup. In the future, this change should happen automatically. Your iPhone or iPad and iFi card are now paired up and will use direct mode. To test out direct mode, you can always just go out of your home network range and take pictures. Just open up the iFi app with your camera turned on. New photos will appear as they're received on the home screen in the iFi app. Make sure you leave your camera on until all of your new pictures are uploaded to your iPhone or iPad. If you removed your home network from your card earlier during setup, you can now add it to the card again to make uploading easier. The card will use the Wi-Fi network when in range and direct mode when the network is not in range. That completes the iFi Direct Mode tutorial for iPhone and iPad. 
For more help with direct mode or other i5 features, please visit support.i.fi.